Okay, so the next step is that we want to set up a blueprint for the game mode. Uh, this is going to be quite useful uh, as we will see. So, uh, if we can find blueprints on that list, go up to, there you go. Right, so game mode base is what we're looking for. Okay, so we want to, uh, we'll call it character uh, game mode. So if we double click on that, we can have a look at, so we want to make sure the uh, the player pawn, if we just go down there, it's default pawn class, make sure that it's your elf character. Okay, so that means that's the first thing it's going to look for when we run the game, is that character, that's the game mode that it is automatically going to load. In fact, we need to go over to the project settings um, and if we go to maps and modes again keep moving left keep moving left okay sorry so we're going to input first so we also need to set up the game mode uh, but I'm gonna sort out the input first so we need to add um, all the action mappings we need so I'll keep clicking that so we've got three action mappings and then we need I'll keep clicking that until I've got four axes mappings okay so as you can see it says provide a mechanism to conveniently map keys and axes to input behaviors by inserting a layer of inter in direction between input behavior and the keys invoke it good grief that's confusing uh, so really this is just the way that your program is reading uh, what buttons you are pressing so that it knows what to do with the characters. So we obviously have to then set up blueprints to tell it what to do when you press these buttons. So I'm just going to go through and name them. So naming these, um, this, is, this is basically for us to utilise within blueprints. So we add behaviours to each of these. Uh, for instance, an action mapping, we need to work out what is going to happen when you press jump. Um, in this case, pressing space bar is going to let us jump. Uh, and then on the axis mappings, this is really important to tell the character which direction to move. So move forward. Um, let's have a look. So action mappings are really for uh, things that don't affect transform or uh, well they do affect transform but uh, as it says it's not moving in a particular axis <clears throat> the special movements effectively uh, so W and S I shall keep going with these and set all of them up and then I will show you the finished version I believe Okay, so that's all the button set up. I've also put a mouse X and a mouse Y, which is uh, for turning and looking up. Uh, oh yeah, so this is what I was doing about the character game mode. So that's the default game mode. Is the, the character is the game mode we have just set up, so it's going to try and read our pawn. And that, I believe, is that.